Hello everyone, welcome to another video where Mia is way too dressed up for the content of the video. Today I am baking. Might be a little bit shaky, I'm not using an actual tripod, I'm actually just holding it on a mini tripod because I didn't want to bring it down into my kitchen and just make a huge mess. Because I'm already going to be making the giant mess by cooking. Woo! I have a weird love for weird Pinterest recipes. So basically I'm going to try to make these apple pie cupcakes and hopefully it'll go decently. First things first, going to preheat the oven to 350. Okay, I currently have my camera balanced on a thing of coconut oil and I'm praying it doesn't fall. This is not a cooking video. Let's get started there. This isn't a tutorial. Uh, start with the cake. Three cups of flour. Boom! I feel like only, yeah, only the half so it can actually fit through the top of this, so. I need three cups of flour, so I need six of the half cups. Math! Oh yeah, you can see I'm touching everything. Don't worry, I wash my hands, it's fine. Always wash your hands before baking. Just like, you know, just so things don't get fucking gross. Especially if you're considering feeding the things you're baking to friends or family. Three, four, five, six. Three cups of flour, nice. Another baking pro tip. Always do all of your dry ingredients first and then wet ingredients. It just makes life so much easier. I don't know where the measuring spoons are. Um, they were hiding from me. Next step, one tisp of, or tibus, because it's a tablespoon. One tibus of baking powder. Um, one and three fourth cups of sugar, so one and a half of these. Oh wait, no, two, three and a half of the half cups. Once again, math. I don't have a quarter cup. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. That looks pretty half to me. This is my mother. Okay. Most of this video is just gonna be me running back and forth across my kitchen. How many tibis? No, it's a tisp. Half a tisp. This one. You know what? With the amount that's already gone overboard into this, I'm gonna say that's enough. One and a half tablespoons of cin of shit. Hey, mom, do you know if the cinnamon's in a big thing or a small thing? Oh, mom, I'm gonna get over to the other side because I'm using it for a cleanse. I'll give the half to this and do three. Ah! Oven's done preheating. Gang, gang. Cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg. My mom likes, it says it's better if you get it fresh. So I got the whole nut. Once again, I am not a chef under any and all circumstances. And we grind. Said just a pinch. That looks like a pinch. Pinch of ground cloves. That's a good pinch. So I'm gonna mix this before adding wet ingredients real quick. Hi, Betty Crocker here. God, I just had flashbacks to my homestuck days. This is my cat. Her name is Toby. She's the worst. I need to wash my hands again. Next, we need two sticks of butter at room temperature. They are not at room temperature, they're at cold. Because I don't understand the difference between butters and like if they're melted or not, I'm just gonna melt these and hope for the best. Two teaspoons of vanilla, pure vanilla extract. Fuck, that smells good. One. Two. One and a fourth cups of milk. I still don't have a fourth cup thing, so I guess I'll die. One, two. Once again, I'm gonna eyeball the half because I'm a professional. Pour. Oh no. I love working with molten butter. I have yet to do eggs. Four eggs. Two. Oh. 
and mix. It looks so gross. But I'm gonna use the polka dot ones at the bottom. Those look fun. Scoop. That's too much. Oh no, that one has too much. Yeah, this is definitely like two batches. So if you're following along at home, um, if you want to make this recipe, you're just one batch of cupcakes, split it in half. Because if you don't, you are going to make two batches. I only meant to make one batch of cupcakes. Don't run into this issue like me. Research your shit. Okay, so there's a completed like in the pan before I baked it. You want to have it filled up about like halfway to three quarters of the way full. And these are also going to go in the oven for 20 minutes. And also I will be linking the um, original recipe in the description along with all the actual guidelines that I am not following. Woo! So now I'm going to work on the biggest part of this, which is the apple topping. Hey, Dad, can you hand me one of the small white bowls? Thank you. It's more. Ooh, fun. I'm putting dis discard discarded pieces of apple. So I, yeah, I'm, I am disemboweling the apples, actually. Just because I love you, Mommy. I buy her oh, <laughs> I'm a cookie YouTuber. I will. I have a knife. <laughs> okay, because the apple took way too long to, um, Will, don't. No, Will, Will. Because the apples took way too long to cut and I only did one, I'm going to turn off the camera momentarily just to cut the rest of the apples and then I'll get back with the rest of the recipe. So, next to the apples, you need a tablespoon of butter. Don't. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Fourth a cup of sugar. Three-fourths cup of water, two teaspoons of cornstarch. Um, this is supposed to be made in a skillet. So I'm just gonna dump this in and hope for the best, you know? So now that I have that on the stove, I'm going to start on the icing. Icing is just normal buttercream. You can look up any recipe for that. So I'm gonna do the um, buttercream icing off camera. It's just normal vanilla. If you look up any recipe, you'll be fine. I'll see y'all when the cupcakes are done. Okay, so I've correctly made the apple filling, and now I'm on to the cupcakes and adding the filling into them. So basically, what I'm doing is I tried using a spoon, didn't work out. So what I'm ending up doing is using a chopstick. Basically, just sticking it in the cupcake, and I have to use two hands to hold it. But basically, just moving it around creating the indent and then I'm going to fill that in with the apple topping and then over that I'm going to um, put the like icing on top. So I put those cupcakes on the side and I'm letting them cool for a little bit before I add the icing so it doesn't immediately melt. And second batch will be done in like 10 minutes. So this is what the product is currently having. These are cooled and will be iced soon. Emma's helping me with the frosting, getting in the bag. And then Mark, second batch, I just put the apple on it and that's going to cool. And then after those are iced and more apple on top of those. Lots of apple. Here's the finished product. I'm pretty proud of it. They look beautiful. My hands are so sticky and I'm not down with it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more of my videos, click that subscribe box down below. Also click the bell icon to get a notification every time I post. And that's about it. I will see y'all next time. Bye.